Recently, I met the CEO of my favorite Canadian REIT, which is Boardwalk REIT. This is a REIT that specializes in affordable apartment communities. Its rents are deeply below market and growing at a steady pace. They have a strong balance sheet. They've issued a guidance for rapid growth in 2023. And despite that, the company is today priced at a steep discount to the replacement values of their properties. I ran into the CEO of this company at the City Global Property Conference and I asked him why should investors consider their stock today. Now make sure to stick till the end of this video because I will share some more thoughts on why I'm bullish on the stock and why you should consider buying it today. Hey, this is Yossi. I'm here at the City Global Property Conference with the CEO of Broadwalk Reads. Why should investors consider investing in your stock today? We provide the most affordable housing in Canada where in Alberta, our largest market, over 90% of our residents pay less than 30% of their household income to rent. And as a result, affordability is what we have identified as a mega trend. Affordable housing is essential for our economy, our communities, and we lead in affordability in Canada. We also lead in our current evaluation is far below replacement cost and so our units right now present exceptional value for investors to buy apartments at well below replacement cost mm -hmm. and to contribute and support an affordable housing provider to continue to do that together building great affordability and value for investors win-win now, before I go into the second question, could you please like this video? It will help me a lot. It's not easy to organize these management interviews, but I know that many of you enjoy them and they are very helpful to all of us. Thank you very much. Right. And if I understand correctly, your rent is also quite heavily below market. So you have an opportunity to over time gradually increase them. Over time yeah. is the key word together. Yeah continue to provide that affordability and sustainable growth. In Canada, for the first time ever, we're seeing average rents for two bedrooms go over $2,000 for a two bedroom unit. Our in-place rents are $1,400. So we've got a real big competitive advantage that we can continue to provide affordable housing and great results going forward, keeping ahead of inflation, higher interest rates and costs, and keeping affordability in place at the same time. That's a real critical combination that we have versus other peers that don't in other jurisdictions. Perfect. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. So the investment thesis is pretty simple here. You get to buy an interest in a diversified portfolio of affordable apartment communities at a steep discount to its fair value. We estimate that the stock of Boardwalk is today priced at a roughly 25% discount to its net asset value. And we think that this net asset value itself is quite conservatively estimated because the rents of its communities are today deeply below market. We estimate that its rents could be hiked today by about 20% to be at market levels, but the management has made the decision to slowly and gradually bump up the rates each year as leases expire because this is more friendly to its tenants. But so this year alone, the rate is guiding to grow its same property NOI by roughly 10%. Their interest expense is going up a bit as well, and so the FFO per share is expected to grow by 7%. And so Boardwalk is very attractive here because you get a good combo of value and growth. On one hand, the stock is priced at a discount to its fair value. On the other hand, the company is also growing at a solid pace. So all in all, I think that Boardwalk rate is likely to keep outperforming in the coming years when you combine its yield with its growth and some repricing as it closes the discount to its net asset value over time, the company is on a path to generate 12 to 15% annual returns over the coming three years. I think that this is very attractive, especially coming from a company like Boardwalk, which is relatively safe given the defensive nature of its affordable apartment communities. I also like that the growth story is very predictable here because its rents are below market and so in that sense has a bank of growth that it can now capitalize on. On. Finally, keep in mind that the dividend yield of Boardwalk is relatively low at around 2%, but this is not because the company is overpriced. As we explained earlier, we think that's quite heavily underpriced, but it's because the company has made the decision to retain most of its cash flow to reinvest in growth. And so its payout ratio is today exceptionally low for REIT at just around 35%. And so this allows it to keep most of its cash flow reinvested in growth. I think it's very attractive for shareholders as well because it makes an investment in Boardwalk more tax efficient on one hand 
and on the other hand, Boardwalk itself has attractive growth opportunities with high return on its invested capital, and so you get to participate in that. It's getting dark when I'm filming right now, so I'll cut it short, but let me know if you have any question on Boardwalk in the comment section below. And otherwise, if you want to learn more about my other REIT holdings, feel free to join my REIT newsletter for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link in the description of this video. And otherwise, you at my next one. Bye-bye.